Hey guys, this is Gitsumara, and welcome back to Let's Play Tales of Asperia. Let's watch this get real quick first. Estelle. Estelle. She's been mumbling to herself for a while now. Hmm. Hey, you coming? We don't have all day here. Estelle. Estelle. Looks like she's in her own little world. Hey, Estelle. Oh, right. Sorry. I'm coming. Do they not have nicknames where she's from? Yeah, Yuri calls her Estelle because it's shorter than Estelise because he's too lazy to say Estelise a billion times. Which I can see why he'd do that, and we want to go over here because there's a caravan here you can miss, and you don't want to miss this at the beginning of the game because it's side quest related, so you want to go here. It's a must. But yeah, in the last episode, we escaped from the Zafias castle. But yeah, we've come a long way from the capital. Yes, I wonder if we're safe now. Hard to say, those guys are a sticky lot. Huh? Oh, look. It's a woman and her grumpy brother. Greetings. Hello. Welcome, good travelers. Is this a shop? It's the King of Adventurer Traveler's Lodge. Oh, big brother, try to do it a bit more friendly. With a little heart. Sorry, Karen. I just can't do anything right. Oh. Please, I'll have to excuse him. My name is Karen and this is Rich. You're operating a traveling inn? Doesn't the King of Adventure refer to something else, something more well known? The late Emperor's brother, His Highness Rain, was also known by that name thanks to his insatiable thirst for adventure. Yar! Indeed, we took that name from His Highness Rain. It's true. We respect him. Mm, that's a pretty nice name, then. So, are you the two of you married? <laughs> married? Uh, uh, I, uh... Do we look like we're married? <laughs> oh, it seems I was mistaken. So very sorry. If you're tired, perhaps you'd like to stay a night. What should we do? And we want to rest here. That we do. Sure, we'll sleep. And we'll sleep we shall. Excellent, thank you very much. Enjoy your shut eye. Oh, big brother, please! I'm sorry, I'm sorry! Yeah, if they gave him a voice, he'd probably sound really annoyed or pissed off. Like me! Hooray! Yeah. Oh, this is for a scene, really. And we rested well, actually. I needed health, anyways, because, well, Estelle was a little bit low on HP. Well, not low, she was like. Less than above half. Oh yeah, I'm gonna show you something. Um, you might be wondering why uh, Abyssian is now stronger than uh, the Compact Sword. Well, since I went back to get all the skits, or not the skits, to use the magic lens in the tutorial battle, I used this the whole way through because it's faster, because combo plus three, and it's now stronger, because whenever you kill monsters, it gets stronger. So we're just gonna use this for now. There's a reason why I won't use it occasionally later. I have their weapons too, but they're not cool enough to get it, especially Estelle. She's fucking useless. So yeah, another skit. Yuri, is this dog yours? Oh, that's so yeah, cute. He's my partner. Repeat. Oh, nice to meet you too. Nice to meet you too. Did you actually understand what Repeat was saying? No. Yeah, I guess that was a stupid question. <laughs> uh, I love Yuri. He's not as cool as Jade, but he's pretty close. Anyways, now that we got that done, let's GTFO. And I'll probably try to avoid as many battles as I can because they're not needed. Uh, leave me alone. Ah, oh, goddammit. We can't run faster than them just yet. Let's get Hopefully this over change, with. But yeah. One, two, three, five, six, 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 zero. One, two, three. There you go, yeah, they're dead. Easy win. And Rafi gets another level up. He's gonna level up like crazy. And crap, I forgot to set destruction field. Let's set that yet. That's something I like to spam sometimes. Oh god, no, 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 no. Okay, sorry. I just wanted to avoid them. And if you notice, the river's dry a little bit. Actually, I think it's... Actually, yeah, I think it's always supposed to be like that. Anyways, there's something else. Hey, there's another Traveler's Lodge. Wait, did I skip the one? Oh, no, 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 there's two of them. I was like, wait, why is there two? Anyways, see that little stump over there? Well, you're gonna find these all over the world map. And what they do is uh, they give you uh, random uh, crafting materials, which are very useful. You can find items in various search points located throughout the world. Search points are restored after some time, so check back time and time again. 
Yeah, some are rare, some you need to fulfill certain conditions, and they also give, um, depending on where they are and what they are, rare or less rare stuff. I carried over my um, materials, because I carried over all my items, so I have plenty, so I'm not too worried about it, but um, I'll show them all off as I see them, just because I can. So let's stop here, because, well, we want to stop at them both. I think I went to the other one too soon, but I don't know. Howdy. Welcome to the Wandering Traveler. Would you like to rest for 50 gold? Yeah, sure. Enjoy your stay. And the brother's farther away as well. He's got friendship issues. He doesn't want to open up to us. Yeah. Hello, buddy. Er, how are you? I guess I'm alright. Er, how- yeah. And we get a skit. Never guessed I'd leave home quiet like this. Are you sorry to be leaving the capital behind you? Yes, I'm homesick. When I was in the lower quarter, I was too busy just living day to day. Never really thought about it. I guess I did feel like setting out on an adventure sometimes. I'm so excited just to be outside. I've always dreamed of going out into the world. Being excited and all is fine, but don't overdo it. We need to find Flynn, right? I'm excited and worried all at the same time. <laughs> all right. Yeah, but the problem is we're in an open world and it's supposedly dangerous. Also, I found out what the pro- what, like, with my Xbox 360, there's always one problem in terms of brightness and that. The brightness is bad and, like, it's widescreened. And my TV isn't widescreened, so I have, like, a fuck ton of black bars on it. Eh, 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 leave me alone. Don't want to get in battle. Don't want to get in battle. Skip, 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 skip. Run all the way around. Because we want to go to Dayton Hold, which is right here. We'll find out about that just in a second. See? Didn't hold. Ooh. And get familiar with this um, theme. You're going to hear it quite a bit. Oh, crap. Knights. Uh, we're going to have to kill them all. Do you think those Spare no one. You get again? the sword, Yuri. Let's do this. I wonder. Well, let's do our best not to stand out. Okay. And I want to catch up with Flynn as soon as I can. All right. Let's see if we can just pass through the hold. And ADD kicks in. Where's she off to now? God, Farna, that old woman just won't leave my books Welcome. alone. I've got some nice gear in stock today. This blade was forged by none other than Assam the Blade Master. It even comes equipped with weapon skills. No traveler should be without them. Feel free to give it a try. Huh? What do you mean? the special techniques contained in weapons. These techniques were originally passed down from master to pupil, but the Blade Master Assam used a special process to seal them within the weapons themselves. Bodhi Blastia can acquire techniques from weapons imbued with this power. With continued use, weapon arts can eventually be learned by the person using the weapon. My, this young lady knows her stuff. That about sums it up. I read in a book that the Kritya gave this knowledge to humans long ago. Huh. I thought Bodhi Blastia only let you use strike and magic arts. In order to find the fighting style that meets your needs, it's best to think carefully about weapon skills when choosing your weapon. There are even weapons without weapon skills that focus instead on raw attack power. It all depends on your preference. If weapons you equip have weapon skills sealed inside them, those weapon skills will be stored inside your Bodhi Blastia when you equip the weapons. If you have a weapon equipped, you can use the weapon skills sealed inside whenever you want. However, if you unequip that weapon, you'll have to set the weapon skills to be able to use them. Each weapon skill belongs to one of four different categories. When you set a few different skills in a weapon, depending on what category they are, a particular glyph will appear on the core of your Bodhi Blastia. So, if you had a bunch of weapon skills for attacking, you'd see a glyph called Fleck. That glyph lets you know the strength of your physical attacks has gone up. Try all of the combinations you can think of to see what they do. I'm afraid the sun would set long before I could explain them all to you. Did you get all that? You learn fast. You should be able to read all about it in that young lady's book. I can't imagine business is all that great in a place like this. Don't get me wrong. I'm not here because I want to be. There are monsters on the far side of the hold, so I'm stuck. Monsters, huh? Did you hear that? Hmm. Hey! Stop ADDing and listen to me, goddammit! And she's not listening. Huh? Did you say something? 
I said I'm gonna go get some information, so you wait right there. Oh, I'll come too. That's all right. Go ahead and take it. It's pretty old and it has some pages missing, but it's yours if you like. Aw, oh, what a nice shopkeep. Thank you very much. Is that book any good? It's fascinating. You can read it as soon as I finish. Oh, uh, she's a fan of books. Oh, you can learn everything in a book. Screw reality. Oh, we get the battle book. Hooray! And also gather information on weapon arts here. Check back when you read and find out more. Alright, so let's show them off. Let's go to our skills. Yes, we have 17 SP because we're over leveled. And combo plus is one of them. That's three hits on her from our Abyssian. But, well, we want to buy some new weapons because we can actually get some weapon skills. Even if the weapon is weaker, you usually want to get the weapon skill anyway, so don't sell your weapons. You can after you, everyone gets the skill you need, but you don't need to, see? Shimitar, it all upgrades. And upgrade, upgrade. And that's it. So then we go into equip. Then we go best equipment. And pretty much that's all it does. Well, I equipped the leather boots over the cape because, well, you know, more agility is better. So yeah, we learned backstep with this. If you see in the SP, um, when it's equipped to your weapon, it doesn't use any SP. So you can equip it, but it'll do absolutely nothing. There's no point. So yeah, because if it's on your weapon you're currently using, you don't have to equip it and still get the effect as if you put SP into it. Same with magic guard, item thrower. This is good. Being able to use items on allies, that's what you want. You really want that. That's very good. Very, 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 very good. Okay, enough of that. Let's see the battle book. It just gives it's like a little tutorial tells you about everything, combos, skills, and that kind of stuff. Yeah. So anyways, um well now that we got what we want. I know there's items laying around that I'm not too interested in them, so we go in here. Oh wait, not there. In here. And we go up the stairs. And we get milk and egg. And we get a chest that gains an apple gel. Hooray! And we go up the ladder, because there's another side quest related thing you want to do up here. And it's right over here. This guy right here. Hey, hold on. Hello? Um, I beg your pardon, but what are you looking at? Humanity at work. A tenacious attachment to this life. Huh? Why? Why must humans live the lives they do? They fight for a share of monopolized technology and hurt even those closest to them. Hmm? Are you talking about Blastia? <sighs> I can't speak for anyone else, but it doesn't seem to me like there's any reason why we get dumped into the world. But once you're here, you just do what you can to give this life everything you've got. Perhaps there is truth in what you say. Hey! He's gone. What was that all about? Got me. They say the heat can make people go a little crazy. Is it hot? Yeah, there's Estelle being an idiot once again, and well, uh, his importance will be of importance later. For now, don't worry about him. Because he's really um, not that important right now. It just... Everything he has to say has meaning and it's part of a side quest, so that's why we talk to him. If not, I'd push him off this bridge. Or this gate, rather. Because this is not a bridge. And I think there's an item all the way over here. There better be, at least. Oh. Okay, that was a waste of time, sorry. I know there's some apple gels not laying around in this area, but meh. I don't need them because, well, we have tons of money and money's easy to get. Just kill monsters till you have enough money. I'll usually like, give you like a heads up on what level you'd probably want to be to fight a boss. Most of like, you can really fight them at any level because, well, you can pretty much solo any boss. You don't need your party members. They're helpful, but sometimes they're retarded because their AI is retarded. It's really a preference. So yeah, I, uh, anyways, we're out of time now, guys. So next time on Let's Play Tales of Vesperia, we will keep going and try to pass through the Dayton Hold. So I'll see you next time, guys. Bye!